Hello, welcome back to uh, Feng Shui 101 and uh, I'm Master KK from Circle 96, your modern Feng Shui consultant. Today we're going to talk to Sam, our life coach, a very important question. Um, I understand that Sam, mm. you were actually a corporate lady for a long time. Oh yeah, 20 years. Uh, mm. And then for, at the age of 45, she did a career switch, oh, she yes, became a life coach. That's right, I did. So what happened? That's the question number one. <laughs> and what advice can you give to people who has uh, to do a career switch? Especially now, mm. it's more relevant because COVID-19, you may not have a job after the whole episode of COVID-19. Mm, mm. Indeed, this is a, a, a difficult topic um, because a lot of people go through a, a mid-career or mid-life transition. So for me, it was a mid-life transition and uh, I had to relook at what was important to me and that's why I made the switch. The journey was not short, it was a few years before I, I did it. Um, but um, as to the tips of uh, when you are experiencing a mid-career switch or you're experiencing, whether voluntary or involuntary, uh, there are three things that you, you should pay attention to. So number one, to do this, you, you really need to clarify your why. Even if it is involuntary and you're forced to make a change, um, you still got to reflect and think about um, why would you do the next step, right? Whatever step that you're going to take, you need to have a very clear why. So the second thing is, once you've decided what's your next step, right? Um, uh, for me, it was uh, being a life coach. Um, I then start to research on um, what can I do to become a professional life coach. And um, that include um, scaling myself up. This means that I took causes, invest in myself, and make sure that I can stand up and say I'm a professional coach. So in your industry, what are the things that you can do to skill up and make sure that you can be that person or take that step that you want to take? And, and the last thing that it's most important is that you keep an, a positive and very open outlook. You are making a massive change in your life, so it is a transition. Therefore, you, you please be open and please be positive. And you surround yourself with people like that as well to make sure that you can keep executing the steps towards your second mountain or your second career. Wow, mm. that's so important. It is. All right, so let's recap. First, find your why, yeah. and then what you want to do, mm -hmm. and then be open. That's yeah. number three. That's right. Okay. So thank, thank you. you so much, Sam, for sharing so many thank tips you. with us. Thank I think you. everybody benefited from that. And um, this is just season one. We really hope that you come back in season two. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Pat, thank you. Bye-bye.